Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, it should not be a partisan issue to support democracies globally and in particular affirm the results of the free, fair and credible presidential election in Brazil last fall. The radio silence of my Republican colleagues regarding the January 8th attack on Brazilian democracy is inconsistent with their professed concern over freedom. On a bipartisan basis, we should denounce a would-be autocrat who refuses to accept the results of elections and is taking refuge within the United States. Our contempt should also extend to American extremists who are undermining democratic institutions at home and abroad. Our commitment to democratic freedom cannot be selective. Fascism and communism are two sides of the same authoritarian coin. Standing up for democratic values is not just about standing up to the Chinese Communist Party, it's about condemning autocratic movements globally. We must defend democratic institutions here and everywhere, including any conspiracy undermining Brazilian democracy. Thank you, and I yield back.